We are going to talk some Grammys fashion, yes, and we need your input here. So the Grammys have had some iconic fashion moments throughout the years. We're going to go through some of the most memorable. Of course, number one has to be Jennifer Lopez. Yes. Yes. And that green Versace number back in 2000. Ooh, wow. This was the dress that started Google Images. <laughs> you no, know, it did, though. This dress will never die. No. I mean, and the thing is, is, isn't it so timeless still? Like, it just, it really, I think, solidified Jennifer Lopez as a superstar. Where before, she was a star, we knew her, we definitely knew her in hip-hop circles. But I don't think she was this global star until that dress. And I no one can wear that dress like J-Lo. Like, no. I've seen it on the mannequin, I'm like... In the museum, and yeah. you're like, oh, no. It's in a museum. It's in the <laughs> Smithsonian. The fact that it's in the Smithsonian right. lets you know. Iconic. Okay, how about Toni Braxton? Uh, she wore a Richard Tyler dress in 2001 that was kind of barely there. This was <laughs> everything for me because I feel like the Grammys is a red carpet, but you got to turn it out for this one night because everyone is there. I felt like this one was a little much. I know it's iconic, but I did feel like because it came a year after the J-Lo dress that it was kind of that play on the oversex dress because people were not wearing dresses like that before J-Lo. So I did feel like it was a little play on it, and I felt like this one was a little extra. I mean, it what was a panel about? in the front, a panel in the back. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's the wind, I don't know. The wind blew left, honey. We was all going to see like, the And by the way, honey, Tony would have been number one that week. <laughs> <laughs> no, that dress was good for holding the statue, and yes. that's it. Like, no sitting, yes. no performing in that thing. Not Just uh, hold it and go. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Tony, it's like when I thank my gynecologist for getting me ready for tonight. <laughs> And, and, yes, and your waxer, honey. Yeah. Thank everybody. Uh, Britney Spears in 2000, she wore this Randolph Duke dress. And I remember this, her just coming across as America's sweetheart right. in this dress. You know, she was sexy, but she was still this young pop icon. And this, she, she came out, it was like actually very elegant yes. and classy. Yes. Well, she had to do this because this came right after that denim on denim monstrosity <laughs> that she and Justin hey, Timberlake also, wore to the billboard. Also iconic. Right. Yes, very for, iconic for, in its own way. Yes, for two different reasons. This was definitely her growing up. This was her kind of hopping out of the, you know, one more time era and trying to go into something more grown. She was in a relationship. She had got a house. So she was wow. definitely trying to establish her but stability as a grown woman. It didn't stick because didn't she's back to like the short, <laughs> like, like normal, yes. old pretty outfit. That's it for today's Daily Pop, but don't worry, we do it every day. That's right, and be sure to click below to subscribe to our E! News YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the latest videos. Whether it's tackling breaking Hollywood headlines or amazing celebrity in-studio interviews, Daily Pop on YouTube will keep you pop cultured. See you soon.